everyone and uh, uh, welcome. So before going directly into the, uh, this, uh, the today topic, just a brief um, description of what it is our activities. So the, these activities, the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, appointments. <clears throat> so we, the Coalition of Health Professionals for Regenerative Agriculture, um, are a, a coalition of uh, nutritionists that want to promote the regenerative health care. One of the activities we are carry, out, uh, carry on <clears throat> is the creation of a database in which we collect all the uh, scientific and non-scientific uh, um, paper and uh, publication concerning the, uh, the connection between health, human health and environmental health. Um, one thing that we really think it's essential and important in this topic, since it is a, a field in which that is growing and it, uh, there are still so many things that needs to be studied and, uh, and uh, um, evidence, are the continuing learning. So an activity that we want to propose to you is this peer-to-peer, -peer, a weekly appointment in which we every uh, every week we present a different paper, always in the topic of let's say the one health, uh, one health perspective. So that we know that sometimes it might be it be hard to find things to keep um, to keep being updated. So we thought this uh, as a nice uh, strategy to do it together. And so um, <clears throat> after the, let's say the description of and the presentation of the paper, we can also have um, a common discussion, but please feel free also to stop us, uh, stop me uh, whenever you want to make an opinion uh, or um, you have a question. So um, today I wanted to present this paper that is already in our database and it is about mm -hmm. antibiotic resistance in the soil ecosystem and one health perspective. Uh, so um, this paper mainly focuses on the source and the transmission of antibiotic resistance in the soil ecosystem, uh, the soil microbiota, plants and fauna, as well as the impact by and on humans. <clears throat> uh, it is not known that rapid emergence of antibiotic resistant genes, ARGs, is a global problem. And soil is a major reservoir of ARGs. The extensive use and or abuse of antibiotic has increased the ARGs proliferation in the soil. In this paper, toward, uh, toward a One Health perspective, some mitigation strategy on the introduction and the transmission of ARGs in the soil ecosystem are discussed. So, um, in the introduction, this paper said that during the last decades, a continuing increase in the frequency of, of antibiotic resistance in bacterial pathogens has become a worldwide concern due to the abuse of antibiotic use. Antibiotic use in clinical therapy and plants and animal hus um, husbandry can prompt the emergence of antibiotic resistance in bacteria, fungi, virus, and parasites, so which may be transferred to humans, thereby reducing the effectiveness of antimicrobial drugs for treating human disease. An estimate say that by 2050, an estimate 10 million people could die from infection caused by multidrug resistant bacteria. <clears throat> Antibiotic resistance has been identified as one of the most significant emergency environmental issues and global health challenge in this century. So, as already stated before, soil, uh, that is the most biodiverse habitat of, on Earth, contain the most diverse microorganisms. And within that diversity, as bores ARGs in the precursor, which contribute to the emergence and proliferation of antibiotic resistance. Furthermore, human activity exposes the soil to various contaminants, facilitating the selection of existing genes, resistant mutant, and polysoltan gene transfer between soil and microbiota. Antibiotic, uh, antibiotic resistance has become the prominent example of the importance of the One Health perspective, including the three domains, <clears throat> human health, the environment, and the animal agriculture. So for whoever do not know what horizontal gene transfer, I, I personally do not know it, and it is the horizontal gene transfer is the movement of genetic information between organisms. Then the paper start going more into deep, and uh, uh, it described the soil environment as the major reservoir of um, antibiotic-resistant genes. 
before it starts with, uh, let's say, a recap of uh, these two definitions, so intrinsic resistance and acquired resistance. So soil, as a sort of diverse microbe, is a natural and major source of um, ARGs, which is often termed as intrinsic resistance. So intrinsic resistance indicates the existence of ARGs in bacteria without exposure to antibiotics. Acquire resistance instead occurs when bacteria gain resistance via mutation under selection pressure or via acquisition of foreign ARGs through horizontal gene transfer. The continuous selection pressure caused by the increased abuse of antibiotic promotes the prevalence of acquired resistance in a variety of clinical relevant pathogens and commensal bacteria in soil. The soil serves as a reservoir and sink of both interest and acquired ARGs, especially when soil ecosystem is disturbed by human activities. So it first started, the paper first started digging into the influence of ARGs in soil by the human activity. So uh, the uh, antibiotic resistant genes emerged in the biosphere naturally and long before the discovery of antibiotics. Statistics from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention in the United States reported that over half of antibiotic prescriptions are unnecessary. In addition, more than it, it is an estimate from 30% to 90% of the consumed antibiotics cannot be completely metabolized by humans or animals and are excreted with urine and feces, thus ending up in receiving soil via irrigation of wastewater and permalign application of manure and biosolids. Fertilization, irrigation, and cropping system management are known for shifting the structure of both the intrinsic and introduced soil resistance. Manures may contain cotelective agents such as heavy metals and antibiotics. The wide application as soil amendment for crop cultivation may result in, enhancement, uh, in an enhanced transmission of energies. Irrigation of treated sewage uh, effluent, reclaimed water, carry resistant determinant may also promote the pro proliferation of ARGs in soil, potentially leading to global diffusion of clinical relevant ARGs. <clears throat> Environmental pollutants may not only trigger constellation, but also the enhanced microbial, microbial tolerance capacity to antibiotics based on co-regulation of resistant genes. Specifically, resistant micro microbes surviving under such constellation and condition may, can more easily become dominant bacteria among the soil microbial community, thereby increasing the potential of ARIGs transfer into susceptible uh, bacteria. <clears throat> Here, uh, the paper, after uh, doing this introduction, goes more into the detail on the transmission uh, in the soil environment of ARGs. Start saying the transmission among the natural soil microbiota and ARGs. So we already said that the application of manure in agriculture that introduced a large, large amount of um, antibiotic resistant bacteria into soil significantly changed the structure of soil microbial community. Elimination of man manure borne microbiota could effectively alleviate the proliferation of ARGs in manure soil, and diverse indigenous soil microorganisms may prevent the invasion and colonization of manure borne ARB in soil. This is more my, my question that I was uh, wondering while uh, reading at this um, paper that actually say that we should um, decrease the use in manures. And so my question was more uh, about is manure itself the problem or the antibiotics given to animal the problem itself? But we can also give it as um, the next for the next discussion. <clears throat> then it continue describing the transmission from the soil to the plants microbiomes, and it says. Resistant bacteria can enter to plant root and migrate into leaf and stem tissue, accelerating the spread of resistant genes in plants. Our knowledge on antibiotic resistance associated with plants and the management of the crop is it still at its infancy. 
However, a fair amount of literature has demonstrated that the food chain represents a major pathway for humans' exposure to antibiotic-resistant bacteria and antibiotic-resistant genes. Transmission the gut microbions of soil fauna. So, soil means the fauna and macrofauna, which have their own gut microbiome and are core and critical component of the ecosystem. They can be exposed to antibiotic and antibiotic resistant genes when manure is applied to soil. Diverse and abundant uh, ARGs have been identified in earthworm gut, which act as a <clears throat> as a hospital microenvironment for antibiotic-resistant bacteria colonization. Multiple external stress produce a severe influence on the dis uh, distribution of gut resistance in soy fauna, such as the synergistic effect of heavy metal and anti uh, antibiotic on the increased abundance of, of gut associated to ARGs. And then it continues with the mission in soil water system. So antibiotic resistant contaminants in soil may be transferred in to the receiving environment, uh, for example, surface water and underground water, via runoff and erosion or leaching. Several studies have demonstrated the presence of ARGs and ARB in untreated and both treated drinking water, drained for river and underground water, posing a high probability of human exposure. The new development of integrated farming, including the combination of agricultural livestock production system and the fish or shellfish production, seem uh, more sustainable in many ways. However, this paper states, the drainage of livestock manure and the spill fees uh, feed into pounds may pose potential food safety hazard, such as introduction of fecal zoonotic pathogens and accumulation of antimicrobial and other chemical residues. Then uh, the, the next chapter, uh, this paper described the relationship between human health and the soil resistance. So soil antibiotic resistance might be linked to resistant infection, which was exemplified by their universal detection in several environmental compartments, such as soil, edible crops, and, and animals. So the microbiome and animal brain system is an important nexus between natural environment and humans and can influence human health through direct or indirect contact. Consumption of raw vegetable, lattice or cattle, for instance, cultivated in the manure amended soils that is clearly linked via the food chain between human and soil microbiome. In addiction, soil fauna graze on animal manure applied to soil and they get my, my biota are likely to be exposed to both antibiotics and antibiotics resistant genes, which might indirectly impact human health. Uh, ARGs transfer from natural origins to clinically relevant pathogens and has been proposed. Although sufficient evidence from the interactive mechanism and transfer processes are yet to be fully documented. Therefore, there is an urgent need to investigate the processes uh, of ARGs and relevant pathogens as they move to and through the soil environment and to prevent their adverse consequences on human health. If you have any question or point to, that you want to share, please just stop me. <clears throat> Here we continue, uh, and we're almost at the end of the paper. Uh, um, the paper then now suggests some technology for reducing these ARGs into soil. As we already said, the two most uh, vector, let's say, for the transmission of ARGs are soil, or sorry, manual application and wastewater. So, much work has been carried out to reduce the propagation of anti especially in the pathway of manual application and reclaimed water discharge. So we chart this technique that we can use to reduce the um, ARG contents in manual application. First one, uh, it's the composting. So the abundance of most ARGs in manual were reduced through composting. However, its persistence may increase when introduced into soil. The generated high temperature during the composting processes should effectively kill uh, antibiotic-resistant bacteria, especially pathogen, 
and degrade at least some of the antibiotic residues, thereby reducing the risk to the ecological safety and human health. Moreover, by adding factor controlling composting such as temperature, pH, moisture, carbon nitrogen ratio, and the initial feed amount, and so on, the effect of the antibiotic degradation and ARGs removal could be improved, decreasing the manual application risk. Another approach of converting minor into biochar is, more, uh, is, of course, more efficient to reduce the dissemination of ARGs into soil as compared with the compost amendments. Uh, what is biochar? I, also, I was also looking for that. And biochar is defined by the International Biochar Initiative as the solid material obtained from the thermochemical conversion of biomass in an oxygen-limited environment. And then, <clears throat> uh, which are instead the technique that we can use to reduce the AR, uh, ARG's contents in wastewater. So we have the separation of ARB, ARG's by capture trap approaches. So we are moving to some real technical aspects. So by coagulation, coagulation, same filtration, constructive wetland and membrane, or the systematic destruction of the resistome by the attack of reactive uh, oxygen species produced during chlor uh, chlorination, ultraviolet irradiation, ozonation, phantom process, and heterogeneous photocatalysis. Um, so the conclusion of this paper, uh, the, with the One Health perspective, <clears throat> so what are also the key messages that we should uh, take on from uh, this paper. The complexity of antibiotic resistance and its global impact on human, animal, and environment make it an immediate issue. As proposed, without effective monitoring and managing approaches to stop the war and spread of it, and our 700,000 deaths would lack rise to 10 million per year by 2050. The extensive use and or abuse of antibiotic impacts in the soil environment, particularly related to agricultural practices, such as application of manure, biosolids, and wastewater originated from human and animal waste. The introduced ARB and ARGs in soil might transfer to clinically re relevant pathogens or to human gut microbiota via the food chain, drinking water, or the environment. The One Health approach, <clears throat> so uh, an interconnected system of tackling antibiotic resistance among human, animal, and environment, is essential to addressing the rising of ARB threats. One Health is devoted to achieving optimal public health outcomes through designing and implementing policies, legislation, scientific research, and projects in which multiple sector organizations and, dis and discipline collaborate together. It is essential to incorporate the understanding of evolutionary ecology, environmental management, and human and animal interaction at various temporal and spatial scales to enable preventing action around antibiotic resistance. And with that, the paper ends. <laughs>